you guys, it's Sonny Me. Um, you probably remember um, a few videos back I mentioned that I was getting a lot of caterpillars on my pea plants. Um, well, my second lot of peas got decimated, um, so I've had to pull them up. And these are the caterpillars. You can see a tiny, tiny little one inching. Now they might look dead, but it's because I've just taken the lid off the box, so they're pretending to be dead. But they'll soon perk up. Yes, the uh, big one in there. And another little one on the side there. So yeah. I think it might be something called a diamond back moth that's been laying these. But they're not just being on my peas, they're on my tomatoes, they're on my brassicas, and they are on my potatoes. Now, I did a bit of googling around to try and find out what, exactly what they are. Um, when I put in tomato plant ones, I said it could be tomato moth. When I put in brassicas, I said it could be cabbage white, but this small variety, because the larger variety ones, um, the caterpillars have got um, dark chevrons, dark markings on them, and these are all bright green. Um, when I tried putting in potatoes, I basically got told that um, potato plants do not host caterpillars. Well, yes, they do, because I'm going to show you. Now, there is a moth called the rosy rustic moth, which lays brownie reddish looking, well, it lays eggs and the caterpillars turn to, uh, they're like a brownie reddish quite large caterpillar and they tunnel into the stems but I haven't really had that now I don't know if you can see on that leaf there it's got silk on it well inside there is a caterpillar bugger <laughs> he's just jumped off oh my god right hang on it's right there on the floor let me see if i can where are we i don't know if you can see that can you see that is not a rosy rustic moth caterpillar but that's got that is different to the ones in the tubs so i don't know what variety that is but that is on my potato plants, as well as the bright green ones. So, these experts that say um, you can't get um, caterpillars on potato plants, well, you're wrong. Because that leaf there, can you see there's some more webbing right at the bottom? I don't know if it'll focus, but where it's all turned over the leaf. There's another one in there, and that leaf there. That's got one in as well. And I don't know if it'll have gone yet, but let's have a look underneath here. Oh, yeah, right on that leaf. I don't know if that's, can you see? Got another one there, and that's one of the bright green ones. Don't know if that's focused. Sorry, this is shaking like buggery, but yeah. I've got caterpillars, I'm just seeing a cabbage white. Now, I have got debris netting, 
and even though I keep getting cabbage whites coming in they're not settling because they can't get to the um, the leaves apart from when the leaves are pushing up against the debris netting but last year the only thing I grew was um, strawberries I had a um, three meter by one meter bed and it was completely covered over with bird netting and I'll show you the kind of mesh I used I use that kind of mesh so that's what about centimeter now some industrial moth laid eggs on the netting and when they hatched these caterpillars dropped down on silken threads onto the strawberries so even though I've got debris netting up they can still lay eggs on the netting and they'll drop down and I think it's the diamond back moth uh, whose caterpillars use silken thread because um, if you disturb the leaf they're on um, as a defence mechanism they'll drop down on this silken thread and uh, make like a possum and play dead and then when they think danger's passed they'll climb back up and carry on munching so yeah overrun with caterpillars at the minute Um, so I might have to invest in some um, insect, met uh, insect mesh, which is a lot finer. And hopefully uh, that might stop the problem. But the only problem with that is things like peas. They have flowers, they need um, pollinators. Uh, things like brassicas, potatoes, they don't. But if I net all my potatoes up, I'm not going to be able to get in to water them. Um, I can't net me tomatoes up because they need pollinators. So, because um, my garden is the uh, first buffet menu that um, the wildlife get to, because over that fence and past that little tree line, it's all fields. So, um, yeah. Luckily they're not actually attacking the fruit and the veg as such, it's just the leaves. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you. Oh yeah. <laughs> My two tomatoes have really ripened up. So even though this is uh, it's supposed to be a quick video about my caterpillar problem, I've got my beans coming up and P.S. de Resistance in my really rubbish French accent I've got silks on my corn I'm hoping that's in shot so I think tomorrow I'm going to be picking that I shall blanch it for five minutes um, and then whip it straight in the freezer until we get a decent amount just spotted another one behind there that's coming up so yeah looking forward to having a stir fry with them but anyway that's it for now see you guys in the next one so ta-ta for now Bye.